you ever wonder how much force it takes to remove a cam screw from the back of a Kaba Ilko mortar cylinder? I sure have. I've been dealing with over over torqued cam screws on the back of Kaba Ilko mortar cylinders for my entire career. And frankly, there's been a couple of times where I could never get them off. The proper sit fitting screwdriver, I couldn't I just couldn't it couldn't get it off. And when I was a much younger man with stronger hand with greater hand strength, um I think there was one time I actually had to drill one out. So finally I've decided to try to determine how many inch pounds of torque it takes to get one of those screws off. I have a uh, torque screwdriver here that's going to read out, display to us how many inch pounds of force we're applying. I'm going to grab a couple of Kaba Ilko mortar cylinders and we're just going to see what it takes. If your experience is anything like mine, and I imagine that it is, you know that those screws are way over tightened. So let's dive in and let's see if we can um, get some interesting data. If you've not hit subscribe yet, we would very much appreciate if you did, and hopefully you're enjoying this video. Now let's get back to it. So I've bought a Torx screwdriver made by Czech, well, I'm not sure who the manufacturer is, but sold by Checkline. Um, it's their Torx screwdriver DIS-RL10. I've got it right here in the box. Let's cut it open. Let's take a look. Let's do it right now. An inch pound is measured an inch away from the rotate the vertical axis of rotation. So how many pounds it's going to take because we're it's a torque screwdriver, so it's going to tell us the amount of pounds it takes to turn that screw, whereas inch pounds would be, you know, how many pounds an inch away, you know, uh, from the vertical axis of pivoting. Been wanting calibration certificate. I've been wanting to make this video for a real long time. Okay, it's got a couple of bits in there too. We might need a smaller one. Obviously, the brain box. Instructions. We should probably look at these first. Okay, so it has a it has a uh, transformer which we're going to use. Meaning, I, I don't know that this is battery powered. I think this is only. So what we have here is the display unit. We have the screwdriver sensor. We have the cable, which is here, goes between the display unit and the screwdriver sensor. We've got the transformer, uh, and then the carrying case. Okay, so general operation, connect the torque sensor to the tester display with the cable provided. When connecting the cable to the torque sensor, route the round connector to find the matching groove, then push in until it makes a positive connection. They're basically saying make sure that when you connect the cable to the torque sensor, you're putting it in the right way. Oh yeah, I see it. Okay. There, yeah, there's only one way. You'll never see that on the camera, but there's only one way to put that on so that it actually goes in. There's a bird's mouth type of preparation down here. Yeah, it goes right in once you once you know it. Otherwise it doesn't go in. No no big deal. When disconnecting the cable from the torque sensor, hold the silver metal part of the round connector and pull out. Okay. To select the desired measuring units, pounds per inch, kilograms, newtons, etc. Press power. Then hold units for four seconds until a beep sounds. Press units to cycle 
the choices. Press program set to enter. Press and hold mode for one second to select from the following measuring modes. Real time, peak, uh, and two other modes. Insert the desired adapter into the screwdriver square drive. Press clear button on the display unit or the button on the screwdriver to zero. Yeah, there is a button down at the bottom of the screwdriver so you can clearly clear it there. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. We're measuring push clear. Okay, so let's try this. So I think what we'll do, you can kind of see that there. What we'll do first, it does have a kickstand off. We're going to connect our screwdriver to the display unit, our torque sensor I think they call it. Only one way for that to go in, I can see that. Uh, we're hardwired, we're on, yeah so it's set in uh, inch pounds and that's what I want. So the next thing to do is to connect our adapter There are two tips. Um, looks like there's a one and a two. I don't know if that's still going to be too large. Okay, let's grab a cylinder. I'll pause this video. Okay, so we've got a cylinder here. It's a uh, Kaba Ilco 7185CB1. So just a inch and an eighth and mortise cylinder. A um, couple of screws are on here. I believe that these are tighter than they really need to be. I've got this in the mode that's going to show us our, it's going to display our peak uh, is what it's going to be. So there's a one and a two tip in that screwdriver and it works just fine. All right, so that only took 4.9 was the peak to get that one screw out. Yeah, 4.1. That was not nearly, that was not in there nearly as hard as I thought it would be. Not even close. Let's see if we can find another one. So I've grabbed a 7205, which I think is an inch and a quarter cylinder, and with my number one, Hey, Jose. Oh, I did get that one out. Okay, I was able to get it, but it was pretty tough. Let's try the other one and see what we get. Okay, 4.3. Wasn't nearly as tight. Yeah, okay, so once you that's set in the PD mode. Okay, so once you once you're able to break that open, you could tell that I initially was unable to get that open. So the answer it looks like we had a peak of 4.9 inch pounds, and I have used screwdrivers that I could not get them off. This what they call a torque sensor obviously is a greater diameter than a smaller screwdriver which is going to help that tip fits very well into it so what will happen is I will make an add-on add-on I will make a follow-up video when I get a screwdriver in my hand when I get a Cobb Ilco mortise cylinder in my hand that I absolutely can't get off um, I couldn't I really couldn't with this <laughs> but there have been those that I've gotten a larger head number one tip and still couldn't get it off so I'll toss it on the torque screwdriver should that ever come to pass hope this was in some way interesting thank you you know what's worse than
It's not participating in the Architectural Builder Supply March Contest giveaway. Thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.